Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this geographers. Welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Last time we talked about different economic measures and indexes, and we also mentioned the formal economy and an informal economy. Today we're going to be continuing with some of these themes as we look at Unit 7, Topic 4, Women and Economic Development. Today women around the world still face a variety of economic and social obstacles that prevent them from reaching full equality. When analyzing the Gender Inequality Index, we can see how countries around the world have different economic and social opportunities for women. Traditionally, we can see that more developed countries offer more economic and social opportunities for women, while less developed countries offer less economic opportunities and social opportunities for women. According to the United Nations, women in South Asia make up over 95% of the total employment in the informal economy. In Sub-Saharan Africa, women make up over 89% of the total employment. And in Latin America and the Caribbean, that number is 59%. In these regions, the world, we can see women are making up a large percentage of the population that's working as subsistence farmers, street vendors, seasonal workers, or domestic work. People who work in an informal economy lack legal protections and also do not receive benefits such as health insurance, sick leave, money for retirement. People are also more likely to work for lower wages in unsafe conditions and are more likely to experience discrimination, sexual harassment, and live in poverty. One way in which people have tried to reduce gender inequality with women around the world is the use of microfinancing and microloans. These are small loans that are provided by individuals or organizations instead of governments or banks. These loans are given to people, oftentimes women, who have a history of credit worthiness and are working to start a small business that benefits the community. The goal of these programs is to reduce the economic barriers that prevent people from starting their own business in developing countries and allow individuals to achieve financial independence. And these programs can be great at reducing inequality and providing more opportunities for women in society. Now there is some risk. If the person who received the loan isn't able to pay the loan back and the business fails, it could put the individual individual in debt, and this would have the opposite effect of the program's intent. Alright geographers, that was just a quick look at women and economic development around the world. Now comes the time to practice what we learned. Answer the questions on the screen right now and check your answers down below. Also too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you need more help with AP Human Geography, check out the Ultimate Review Packet. It's a great resource that will help you get an A in your class and a 5 on the national exam. Thank you so much for watching the video today, I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.